The rope is pulled. Dozens of kilograms heavy large stones are thrown out after falling freely for dozens of meters, steadily smashing through the wooden fence. This is the power of the giant catapult from the 12th century, also known as the so-called trebuchet, if wrapped in cotton cloth and soaked in strong alcohol, ignited and then thrown out. The power will be greater. So here comes the question. How does this thing throw large stones out? The trebuchet is divided into three parts. One end of the beam is connected to the counterweight box. The other end of the beam is connected to a leather strap with a rope. Its principle is somewhat like a seesaw. Initially, people would stuff a large number of stones or other heavy objects into the counterweight box. The heavier the counterweight box, the stones will be thrown further. Once it's filled, the beam will be lifted up. At that time, four adult men will then pair up and stand in the cylinder. It's like a cylindrical treadmill. People inside keep running. The rope on the cylinder keeps winding until the crossbar is pulled down. Finally, insert the pin. Put dozens of pounds of stones into the leather pouch. The leather strap passes through wooden tracks to reduce friction and increase the distance of stone throwing. People also brush a layer of grease on the tracks. In this way, pull down the rope and remove the pin. The unbound counterweight box will descend. Lift the crossbar. The stones connected to the crossbar by the rope will be thrown out, eventually smashing onto a building tens of meters away. Its power can easily break wooden stakes, helping soldiers easily charge into the city. How about that? Do you understand?